What's cracking, people? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am joined by Paul of Paul's Hardware, my good uh, friend and colleague, to do this sort of really fun collaboration build that we're doing. Uh, it's a two-part series, actually. Part one, of course, is what you're watching right now, and afterwards, you can head over to Paul's channel. I'll put a link in the description, cards, annotations, and all that. But what we're essentially doing today is we are doing sort of a, a charity or a donation build for our good friend and Twitch moderator, Cell Processing. Go um, sell. Yes, his name is Nick, and he has been a really dedicated moderator and just friend to us uh, via the internet. We've actually met him in person um, uh, one or two times, and he's just a really great individual. He helps us a lot with our, our Twitch streams uh, for awesome hardware, and even on our live streams on YouTube on a regular basis. He's been a really good pal. We game with him frequently, and we just wanted to give back and say thanks by building him a pretty sweet rig. Uh, he already does have a PC of his own, which I believe is, is, is pretty decent. It's in relatively good c condition. I believe this one, though, might be a little let's, bit better let's, and more let's reliable. Let's not mince words, Kyle. Cell's computer is an abomination. Yeah, you're it's right. horrible. Of course. And he deserves something much, much, much better. So that's what I we're going to be building for him today. Yep. And obviously, as Kyle, Kyle already mentioned, just as a huge thank you to him for being so dedicated. Uh, if you guys are familiar with me and Kyle, you know we do a live show every Tuesday. And uh, Cell has been our moderator for like a couple years now. Yeah. Super consistent. And we like we don't pay him a dime, um, but he's always there and he's always doing a great job. So thank you, Cell. And and I hope this computer uh, is is a good way of saying thank you. Yep. It, I, I hope it is. I, I don't know any better way to say thanks than to build someone a computer. <laughs> it's the only uh, way we know how to speak to people. It really is. Or um, express love. Yes, it, it comes from the heart for sure. Uh, so I guess, should we just go over some of the parts that we're using? That's a good idea. Rig? Okay, cool. All right, guys, so on that note, uh, well, Paul and I have kind of joined forces here to contribute half of the hardware on either side. So we're just going to take turns talking about each of the parts that we contributed for this build. That so, is true. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to start off here with the CPU, and we're going, of course, to the Ryzen build uh, because the Ryzen CPUs are awesome. This actually is the Ryzen 7 1700X uh, that came directly from AMD. And uh, so not only is it our 1700X, you, which you can only tell by looking at the side actually right there, but it's, it's awesome. And it's one of the original 1700Xs, which is probably means it's a limited time, like you, you can never you never have another 1700X like that one. One of a kind. Yes. And then uh, for memory that we're pairing with the 1700X, we've got a DDR4 kit. This is a 16 gigabyte kit, two by eight gig sticks of the Vengeance LPX from good old Corsair. They are rated at 3200 megahertz, which is obviously good for Ryzen since it does benefit quite significantly, significantly from higher frequencies in their DDR4 pairings. And uh, the cast latency on that, Paul, I can't really see it from here. It's uh, 16, 18, 18, 36. All right, cool. So and not, then, uh, not too bad for 3200 at all. Definitely not too bad. And the dies on those should be pretty good as well. We should have some pretty solid compatibility with Ryzen at this point uh, with all the BIOS updates that have surfaced. Uh, but yeah, that should be a pretty good kit. Excellent. For our motherboard, and this is part of the reason Kyle went with white memory, we have the Oris AX370 Gaming 5 from Gigabytes. So uh, this is sort of a middle of the road X370 board, but it has very good overclocking. Actually, the uh, VRMs on this board are the exact same VRMs as you get on the Gaming 7. So um, yeah, you got M.2 support, all of the fancy stuff, AM4, that you get with uh, Ryzen, and you even get like RGB. It's got LEDs, because we know Cell loves, loves RGB LEDs. He's that's all, all about those. That's all he cares about. Yep. Uh, and then we've got a 240 gig OCZ TL100. This is Toshiba OCZ, of course. Uh, I think the uh, the SSD is also white, so it should be matching with the rest of the rig pretty nicely with the MOBO accents and whatnot. And uh, let's see, I don't know exactly which controller's on this SSD. I just sort of grabbed it, um, had it lying around, but um, it is SATA, SATA 3, no NVMe here, but it should be pretty good for Cell's needs. Um, again, like Paul said, there is an M.2 slot on the MOBO, so he could always upgrade in the future or expand his storage. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. It's going to be a good SSD. Um, all right, next we have, let, let's do the case. This is the Master Case Pro 6. Uh, I've already built in this case once. It is very solid. It is very well built. Uh, it's got a nice side panel window on it and everything. Uh, actually, a big part of the reason why I chose this case is because of the packaging, the actual uh, stuff that's in there, we'll show you in just a minute, is absolutely insane as far as how this case is packed. And since we got to ship it to sell, and it's going to be rough handled in shipping, uh, we wanted to make sure it's going to get to them okay. So we'll show you guys that in just a second. Other than that, it's a really nice case though too. Uh, built like a tank, and it's got a couple fans in there that stay nice and quiet. You said rough handled. I did. Lol. 
Next up, we've got the graphics card. This is the Power Color Red Devil Golden Sample. What? So this is a uh, specifically um, dialing in some some higher overclocks than the original Red Devil. Uh, this is the RX 580, of course, from AMD, which is featuring a uh, more refined 14 nanometer LPP uh, package and whatnot. So it should have a little bit more higher performance per watt than the RX 480. Uh, not terribly much more performance in game, but uh, it is a very fantastic card. I've done a review on the non-Golden Sample, and that was already a blazing fast GPU for 1440p gaming. So the other Red Devils that we've seen in the past from Power Color have actually featured triple uh, fan designs. This one only has two, but they are larger at 100 millimeters, which should help for uh, better cooling and, and low, lower noise. So overall, it should also have a bit more headroom for overclocking if, you know, if Cell knows how to overclock or something like that. I don't know if he knows much about computers. And a big part of the reason uh, that, that we went with the 580 is because Kyle pointed out yes. Cell has... A FreeSync panel. Thank you for reminding me, Paul, um, which uh, obviously would be kind of a bummer if we got him an NVIDIA card, he wouldn't be able to take advantage of that. So uh, I don't know if, if this is not fast enough for his needs, which I'm sure it will be. He could always, you know, add in a second 580 or even wait out for, for Vega, um, sell this back to me if I, you know, whatever, and then just buy a faster graphics card. So it's, you're, it's you're planning to profit on this ultimately. No, I didn't, I didn't say that. That's the goal. I didn't say that. So All right. edit that out. Now the power supply situation is one of, uh, I want, I don't know, for some reason the word Butterface comes to mind, but um, this is an Antec 1200 watt high current pro power supply. I can't get these anymore. Uh, you can't buy them at retail, but it is 80 plus gold rated and it is actually a beastly power supply. It's also one of the power supplies that has a fan on the end rather than on the bottom or the top or bottom or top. Uh, and yeah, it's it's really nice. It it as far as the power, uh, it's not the prettiest when it dun, comes to, dun, dun. when it comes to the cables. We do have some ketchup and mustard going on, so um, we basically we didn't want to give Cell a computer that he's just never going to touch again. Cell loves to build computers and tinker with them just as we do. He loves touching so uh, this is maybe a potential upgrade opportunity in the future. Also, we didn't want to give him something he could just immediately submit to Pimp My PC and like get get a bunch of oohs and ahs over. We, we need something to uh, give him a hard time about. So Cell, for now, you've got ketchup and mustard to deal with, but you know what? It's still gonna work. And and part of it matches the video card. Oh yeah. Go, the gold. Silver lining. So the gold and the red. And hey. The, oh yeah. See it. Just just gotta find something to do with the purple, gray, and orange. And you know, flawless. It's, a, it's all the colors of the rainbow. Fantastic. Well, let's start uh pre-assembling and de-unboxing ifying and Indeed. all of those things, I think. I think there's a fantastic line of hardware that we have here, Paul. Yes. Um, although what are we gonna do about the operating system? Uh, well, I... One, two, three, well, nine, it. Just, that was a tie. Yeah, um, I'm sure Cell can handle it himself. He'll figure it out. Yeah, you can get Windows 10 for 20 bucks. Well, 30 bucks now. So I've heard. Check out the card in my... All right. <laughs> Look at Check this. Check out the video card. Look at how ridiculous this thing is. What? It comes in a bag? Yeah, it's got I've a, never seen a case that came in a bag. It's got a bag. So once you... Once you build your system, you can use this bag to do shopping with. Like in California, you can't use plastic bags anymore. Or you gotta bring your own uh, non-disposable bags. Uh, I'm gonna go to the store and buy an orange yeah. and bring this bag. Look it up. There we go. Oh, I've got so, my yeah. own. I'm good, thanks. So not only did it have this outer bag, really, really thick gray foam pieces, it also had straps. It had those shipping like zip straps around it as well when it first arrived. So I would have been expecting yeah. like a custom water cooled system inside of this, given the packaging. Well, I think that's I the idea. The Cooler Master wants to make sure if if a system integrator buys this, they just ship they it can, in the original package. Yeah, they, they don't have to worry about doing anything special for the packaging. So how thoughtful. There it is. Ta -da. Beautiful. This one has a little pop-up panels, you know. They pop up and pop down and Sometimes. Nice. nice. Yeah, they're, they're fun. Cool. All right, uh, let's prep the motherboard, I suppose. Prep that mobo. Come to me, CPU. Come to me. Now you have already, this is a CPU that you've already kind of used a little bit just to for reviewing and stuff, right? For testing? Yeah, just did some really basic testing. So you know um, it works though, that's good. Oh, yeah. And it's the 1700X. It is, it is objectively better than like the 1700, 1700 just in that it's gonna run at a higher frequency and TDP right out of the gates. Which is nice. It's got a higher TDP, but honestly, like if you if you overclock a 1600, you pretty much destroy the. I mean, if you overclock a 1700, you pretty much destroy the 1700's TDP. True. Um, but but yeah, um, 1700X. I mean, part of the reason I'm okay giving it up is because 
it's not a chip that I would just say, hey, go and buy this. I would say buy the 1700 and overclock it. But if someone gives it to you for free, but hell yeah. yeah. Well, hell yeah. Then it's a great processor. So Cal's demonstrating the might be able to get an, an additional zero insertion force socket thing. Might, might be able to get like an additional 100 megahertz out of this guy over the 1700. Yeah. So it should That's be nice. able to hit 394, maybe 41, yeah. depending on voltage and everything. Uh, let's, uh, how about that memory? I'm kind of curious to see how the memory is going to match. Let's do it. Well, I don't know, Paul. White on white and black, I think it's going to match quite nicely. So, yours always been the style expert. I remember back in the day at Newegg, this really does feel like an old school Newegg build right it now. It does. But uh, I remember, like, I don't know, I was telling you about like RGB. Like when I was building mine, I was like, oh, I wanted to have like sleeve cables and, and RGB lighting. And you were all functioning at that point. You were uh, yeah, like, yeah. why the hell would you even spend money on that stuff? I hadn't transitioned and, over yet. And I feel like I like you also rubbed off on me because I was all about the, the form and no function. And now we're kind of a, a hybrid beast of both worlds. May I also say just how nice it is to have one other person here as a build is being done here in my garage, often doing it myself. Yeah. It's just it's just so much more time consuming. Indeed. So setting up all the shots and all that stuff. That well, looks nice. That is beautiful. Smoking. This, this memory and this motherboard are made for each other. Indeed. Okay. I actually do like this card a lot. I like the form factor, um, or the size I should say. It's not terribly long. And I know Cell does like small form factor builds. He's quite partial to them. So in the future, if he ever did want to repurpose this card, you could it, it fits in a lot of small form factor cases. And it's quite powerful for the size. As you're about to see, again, still manages to fit a pair of 100 millimeter fans on there. What's the main difference between the non-golden sample and this one? Is it just uh, overclocked? Like It's, it's overclocked higher and it actually does have a, a beefier cooler on it. Okay. So thermals should be a bit improved. Um, you get one 6-pin and one 8-pin PCIe connector. Uh, it's also nice that it does come with a back plate. And hopefully, hopefully Cell's not super religious because... Uh, there have been a oh, couple. It's got, it's got it's been a bit of controversy on Power Colors there. branding. Yep. Well, they certainly aren't targeting the more religious demographic. <laughs> it's okay. It I'm, be sure, the case. I'm sure Cell will forgive them. That's a solid card, though. Yeah, it's pretty. And so I think it, it's looking like we're going to have sort of a, a black, white, and red theme system here. Actually, I, I personally like a lot. Black, white, red, and blue. There are some blue LEDs on the case. Right. I believe there's a, a blue LED fan at the back. There's and a blue LED fan at the back. The I'm I'm not sure what we should do with that though. We should we, we should maybe see what it looks like. Okay. Uh, but we potentially could swap it out too. Okay. Because the only thing is, I remember giving people crap on Pin My PC for having like red and black or red and blue clashing. Like I would never do that. It looks like a police car. It's just patriotic. But it it's is patriotic. patriotic. Do you want do you want me to hate my country? What's wrong with you people? It sells very patriotic. God. All right. So um, let's move on to the SSD. We'll take this out really quick. So maybe we should leave the blue LEDs in because it matches the blue accents on the, the the drive there. Possibly. I don't know, man. So many options. All right, we're we're coming down to a very vital, very crucial part of this build, which is of course the thermal paste application. Always crucial, always controversial. I'm gonna do oh. the, uh, the 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 old school uh, grain of rice method or the okay. pea method. If you okay. like saying pea. So well. I'm gonna just do a little bit of a, a little oh. bit of a turd. That was a that was a nice. Yeah. I like the form there. Yeah, it's a little spiral. It's a little, I call it the turd. The yeah. turd the turd method is always <laughs> the turd method. Yeah. That really <laughs> I'm glad this camera gets really good macro shots. That is good. Always. I I approve, Kyle. I think that's some very nice thermal paste application you got you got going on there. Why thank you. Alright, I think it's time for the cooler. Go ahead and slide yeah, it on and, over. Uh, oh. And drop that bad boy on there. Dude, I I forgot to tell you. Cell hates stock coolers. Like, I know this is a pretty decent Wraith Stealth here, but he's he's going to be livid if we put this in his system. Are you sure? Like, the, we've, you've used the Wraith coolers. They, just, they do okay. No, you don't understand, man. One time a guy tossed a stock cooler to me and Cell jumped in front of it like he was taking a bullet. It was nuts. Seriously, dude, how do you think he's racked up all those domestic violence charges? Actually, no, I, I think I've heard those stories too. Like, I heard Cell's mom built him a computer with a stock heatsink fan once. Dude, one time I saw him grab a guy's balls just for holding one of these things. Granted, I've seen him grab a guy's balls for no reason at all, but it was still really disturbing. I heard Syl built an obstacle course out of old heatsink fans and he makes neighborhood kids run through it and it chops them into little pieces of meat. And then he eats them. Oh, God.
God, that's disgusting. Jesus. Look, I don't care what kind of a fetish cell has for aftermarket CPU coolers, I am not gonna let it ruin this project. Get your shit together, Paul! We're gonna, we're gonna get through this, all right? We're gonna make it! I don't know how we're gonna make it. What are we gonna do? It's all falling apart. They just expect so much from us. <laughs> he poops on them. <laughs> At least the dogs are here to comfort us. Hi, doggy.